Long time no see. I just got back from California. It's been really busy, but I've missed you guys. So I'm back in my new setup. How do you like it? And I've got something new for you today. I have been receiving some of these mini brands books. Now, if you don't know what these are, these are actually those little surprise balls, but inside they have four little mini books and they're actual real copies of real books and the covers and like the first three or four pages of the books are actually readable and they look exactly like the real book. It's awesome. And it says here that there are 40 plus because they're special ones. And they also have little things in them, like bookish things, like bookmarks. And I've even heard that there's little bookshelves. I would die if there was little bookshelves. I want the little bookshelves so I could put them up here in my little display. How cute would that be? But I have 13 of these. So with the odds in our favor, we could possibly have them all. And that would be awesome. Let's open up all these mini brand books. All right, so for our mini brands, books ball number one. Now, what I really like about these balls, too, is all the paper on them is made of recycled little materials. So that is really cool. And let's see how satisfying we can make this. See if it actually works. Well, fail number one. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that was pretty good. Take it off. Oh, we get another one. Oh, come on. We want satisfying. Uh, not satisfying. Oh, well. All right. Let's open up our first mystery ball. And we should get four packages which we do and we have of course our little list of books that you could possibly get so let's see what our first one is our first one is oh it's a stranger things book suspicious minds and it's really cool because like I said, the first couple of pages, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but the first couple of pages are actually readable. Now, after that, it kind of turns into gibberish, but how cool is that? Stranger Things, number one, awesome. All right, number two, we have, oh, they told me to, yeah because you get little bookmarks. So we got our little bookmark. Nice, I like that. And this one is a Christmas Carol. How cool. And yes, the first couple of pages are actually readable and it's hardback. I love that. All right, number three. Oh, this one's a big one. <gasps> I wonder what's in this one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Did I get shelves? Did I get shelves? Oh my gosh, I got the bookshelves! I wanted the bookshelves so bad! Yes! Now I can actually display them on my backdrop. That is so awesome. I'll have to put those together here in a little bit. I didn't even get a book. I just got the bookshelves, but I don't even care. All right, and our third book is... It starts with us by Colleen Hoover. It's paperback. These are just so cool. It's got the back of the book and everything. I love these. But if you want to see what they look like inside the little bookshelf, that's cool. And if you collect more of these, you can stack them up on top of each other. And then you get like a really tall, nice little bookshelf. So. All right, Mini Brands Books Mystery Ball number two. Let's see if we can get something satisfying here. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, very satisfying. 
All right, let's see. Where's the pull tab? Yep, that was the pull tab. Here we go. This one doesn't want to work for me. Not quite so satisfying. Let's open up this ball and we get. There should be. Well, there should be four pack. Oh, there is four packages. I was about to say I was going to get upset. All right, here's our little book. We already got one of those. All right, here we go. Book number one. Ooh, we get a magnifying glass so we can actually read the books. And we get a Goosebumps book. How cool. You gotta love Goosebumps. Package number two. We get <gasps> Vampire Diaries. Now, I have never gotten into Vampire Diaries. It's always been on my list of things to read and do, but I've never gotten into it. So maybe this will inspire me to actually do it. Let's see here. Book number three. I'm always afraid I'm going to rip the books. Uh, let's see. Book number three. Yep, just a book. And it is... Oh! It's Mrs. Pettigrew's uh, School for Peculiar Children. I've actually read two of those books, and I saw the movie. Very cool. I like it. Uh, the books are way better than the movie, though. But, and this one is a hardback. All right, we've got one more, which is... Oh, and we got a bookmark. How oh, cute is a little mini brand's books bookmark. And we have... Oh, it starts with us. We've got our first double already. Need two copies of a book that I've never even read. But oh well, that was cool. We still got Mrs. Pinnegrins or however you say it. It's a bird. I know it's a bird, but I never say it right. And we have Vampire Diaries, Goosebumps, a cute little bookmark, and we got our first magnifying glass. Ball number two was a success. Okay. Mini Brands Books Mystery Ball number three. Let's try to get a satisfying pull. Usually I can get a pretty decent one on this one. Yeah. Now this one I've been having trouble with. Let's try it from a different end. Come on. Come on. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. All right. Let's see what's inside. No doubles. No doubles. All right, we have one, two, three, four. Ooh, and this one's big again. Does that mean we got more bookcases? Does that mean we got more bookcases? <gasps> we did, we did, we did, we did. Okay, now, I'm glad we have bookcases. I like the bookcases, but I'm going to need some books to fill up these bookcases, so don't just give me bookcases, okay? So let's open up our first package here. And we have, it's a Stranger Things book, but it is not the one that we already have. So, excellent. Not a double. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Let's see here. Our second package. We have, no! This is my third copy of this book. This must be one of the super common ones. But if it's super common, I'll probably never get rid of them. All right, let's see. What's in the third one? <gasps> Black Beauty. I read this book when I was a little girl, and I absolutely loved it. If you love horses, or even if you just love books about olden times, this is an excellent book to read. And it's hardback. So with the Stranger Things and the Black Beauty, Ball number three was a minor success. Let's hope they get a little better than that. And this is what it looks like when you stack the two little bookcases. So they could grow to be really cute, but like I said, I need more books. And these are my Colleen Hoover doubles that I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot more of. But... All right, Mini Brands Books Mystery Ball number four. Here we go. Come on. Oh, no. No. And this one. No. 
Oh, I must just be really bad at these because I've seen so many people do them and they're so satisfying. Not me. Okay, here we go. All right, we have one, two, three, four. So we got all of our packages. We we'll need our little book. Let's open our first one. And it is one that we already have. It's the Home for Peculiar Children, number two. We have a cute red bookmark. We've already got that one, but it's cute. And we have Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Now, some of you might know, I used to have this on my channel, but I got copyright struck over it. They won't let me have it on my channel anymore. So yes, it even looks like the book inside. It's even got the, the comic book pictures and everything. So cute. And it also is a hardback. So nice. All right. Book number three. Oh, something different. Something different. <gasps> The Twits from Raw Doll. Now, I have not read this particular book, but I do love my Raw Doll books, so I'm sure this one is amazing. The last package here is, please be something new, please be something new. It is Stranger Things, Suspicious Minds. Now, do we have this one? We do. We already had that one. Oh well. Maybe because we got a hardback Diary of a Wimpy Kid and a raw doll book that is really cute looking and another red bookmark. But on to the next. Here we go with Mini Brands Books Mystery Ball number five. Not even halfway through. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. We like the satisfying pull. Ah, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Now this one, it is recycled plastic. We love that, but we don't love that this one has been fighting us. <gasps> it heard me talking about it, so it fixed itself. Thank you. All right, let's open this up. Let's see what's inside. We have one, two three, four packages in our book, which we don't need. Let's get two, let's get two. Please, no doubles. Ooh, not a double. It is a Vampire Diaries book. We have got one Vampire Diaries book, but it was not this one. All right, second package. Ooh, it's a Goosebumps book. And I think this is a different Goosebumps book than the one we got before. Let me double check. Definitely different. So we've got a new Goosebumps book. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, package number three. I'm always scared I'm gonna rip the books. Or these cute little bookmarks that they give you. Here's another red bookmark. Okay, and this is, no, another Colleen Hoover. I think this is like my fourth one. It is my fourth one. I don't need this book anymore. All right, last one. Let's hope this one's better. Let's hope this one's better. And we got the burn book. Now this actually came out when I was a uh, in high school or early college, and it's actually just a blank notebook so as you can see they made every page readable in this one because it's just blank notebook pages so you could actually use this as a teeny tiny little notebook if you wanted to so we got the burn book that was a new one we got a new goosebumps and we got a new vampire diaries we got another cute little red bookmark i'm not going to say no to the bookmarks <sighs> and another colleen hoover so this one, I would say this one is a success because we at least got three new ones, but Colleen Hoover, I don't want you. Stay away. All right, here we go with Mini Brands Books, Mystery Ball number six. Put some good luck into this one, please. No more Colleen Hoover. It starts with us. Are we going to be able to do it? Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. All right. Let's see, this is the tricky one. Come on, come on. <gasps> okay, let that be a good sign. Let that be a good sign. 
Okay. Well, I can tell how big this one is. That this is another shelf, which, okay. I was really excited about the shelves at the beginning, but I need books to put in the shelves. So come on. I'm not even going to open that right now. Okay. Let's see. Our first book is <gasps> Vampire Diaries, but it is unfortunately a double. Okay. Moving on. Number two. Oh no. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. <gasps> this is Matilda. One of my favorite movies and favorite books by Roald Dahl. Awesome. Yes, this is a good one. This is a good one. That already makes this whole mystery ball a success. And our third item, I can see a little bookmark in there. Let's hope we get another color besides red. I think there's like four or five colors you can get, but all we've gotten is red and then the mini bronze one. Let's see. It is another Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. It is hardback. I love these because they actually have little illustrations inside. How cute, how cute. How cute. Can you see? Can you see? I know it's really hard to focus in on that because they're so tiny. That's what makes them adorable. All right, let's see what color this bookmark is. It is, oh, we got like a brown leather looking one. This is different. Oh, this box was definitely a success. We got a double, but it's our first double of that one. So it's not like we have four of them like Colleen Hoover. And we got Matilda and a Diary of a Wimpy Kid and a new bookmark. So yay! Way to go, mystery ball number six. All right, time for the mini brands books. Mystery ball number seven. Let's see if we can get a satisfying pull. Come on, don't fight me. It's like it's sealed right here. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. <gasps> yes, all right, come on. No doubles, no doubles. No whammies, no whammies. Big bucks, big bucks, no whammies. All right, come on. Here we go. <gasps> oh, that's got to mean good things, right? That's got to mean good things. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let's see here. We got our four packages. I don't see any shelving. That's good because we got enough shelving for now for the books that we have. So let's open these up. Package number one is <gasps> Cat Kid! Yay! I love Dog Man and Cat Kid and all those books like that. They're so cute! I wonder if it actually has... It does! It has the illustrations inside. It's probably fuzzy to you and I apologize because they're so tiny my camera can't even focus on it. But oh my goodness, it's adorable! I love these. Oh my gosh! It actually is like a comic book inside! That is amazing. And then as it gets further in, they don't even bother to make it look fake. They just don't put anything. I guess you could make this your own little comic book if you wanted to. That's kind of cool. But yeah, it's hardback. And it's Cat Kid. I love it. It's not a double. We are happy about that. Off to a good start. All right, let's do number two. And number two is... Oh, it's a double. It's Roald Dahl the Twits. We love Roald Dahl. We're not going to complain too much. It's our first double of this one, but we want to collect them all, okay? So we're going to have to stop getting these doubles. It is a good book, though. I haven't read it, but it's Roald Dahl. It's got to be a good book, right? All right. Number three. We have... Ooh! New one, Babysitter's Club. Now, if you were around at the time when I was a young girl, like in middle school, the Babysitter's Club was all that and a bag of chips. Everybody was reading the Babysitter's Club and the Sweet Valley High books. Everybody was starting their own Babysitter's Club. It was, it was crazy. But that's very cool. I didn't even know that was a part of it. So yeah, we got another new one and it's one that I like. I love it. I love it. Last one, well, number seven is certainly showing us that it's a success. We haven't got our special thing yet either. Oh, here it is. 
It's a bookmark. I think that's different from our other one. Maybe? Is it supposed to? You think that's supposed to be the same? Or I think it's supposed to be different. We're going to count that as being different. Okay, so we have a different bookmark and we have oh, a hardback Christmas carol. Now this is a double, but it's a Christmas carol. All right, so number seven was definitely a success. We got a hardback cat kid. We got another raw doll. It's a raw doll. We got our babysitter's book. We got a new bookmark. And we got a hardback Christmas carol, which, you know, it's a Christmas carol. We can forgive it. So, yay, number seven. Way to go. Thank you so much. All right, it's time for Mini Brands Books Mystery Ball number eight. Now, those of you that know me know that my favorite number is number eight. So hopefully this ball is going to be good to us. All right, let's see if we can get a satisfying pull. Come on, come on, break free, break free. Good job, good job. All right, first layer is a success. Let's try layer number two. This one's always the hardest. It wasn't any problem at all. All right. Nice books, nice books, no whammies, no doubles. Here we go. We don't need our book. And we have our four packages. Doesn't look like we got any bookshelves, which is good because we want more books. Okay, our first package here. It is Goosebumps, but I think we already have this one yes we do <sighs> i'll forgive it since it's goosebumps and it's our first double of this one but come on no more doubles no more doubles no more doubles no more doubles all right package number two let's see here okay i about freaked out because it's colleen hoover but it's a different book. It's not the, it starts with us that we've been getting 400 copies of. It reminders of him. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take it, we'll take it. It's different, it's different. All right, number three is, it's a pink book. It's a burn book. This is just a blank notebook. You're supposed to like write down your innermost feelings or all your bad thoughts about somebody or, and then you're supposed to burn the book. So that way your ideas go up in smoke and you don't actually do that. But all right, last one. We haven't got our special thing yet. Did we get a bookmark on this time? <gasps> we did. What is this? What is this? It's one that we already have. I went and looked and the only ones we're missing is the blue ones and the purple ones, which are the prettiest ones. So we need them. And I also looked and there is a book for the movie Clueless, which is my favorite movie in the whole wide world. And I also have all of the Clueless books on my bookshelf. I might have to show you guys one day because they had made a TV series and they made all these like books that go along with the movie and the TV series and I have them all. I love Clueless. I need the mini Clueless book. All right, so let's see. This is a Stranger Things book and I don't know if we have this one i don't think we do no this one is new now time for mini brands books ball number nine let's see if we can get a good pull on this one come on this side never wants to break free break free come on Ugh, this one's not gonna be a good one Maybe the books inside are good. Maybe the books inside are good. Don't let the outside looks deceive you. All right, come on. You can do it. You can do it. And you don't do it. Okay, I'm getting frustrated. Give me good books. Give me good books. Okay. Oh, they all stuck inside. That's weird. All right, we got our book. We got our one, two, three, four packages. No bookshelves. That's great because we need more books to fill up the bookshelves we already have. So let's start. Package number one is... <gasps> Vanicula! 
Now, I don't know how many of you have read this, but this is one of my favorite series. It's like Benicula. Um, then they have the Celery Stocks at Midnight. And, uh, oh my goodness, uh, they're escaping my brain right now, but there's like five or six books. And they are the best. It's about this uh, dog and this cat. And I think the dog's actually writing this book. And the family adopts a bunny and the bunny has a spot on its back that makes it look like it's wearing a cape. And the bunny doesn't actually eat the vegetables that they feed it. It just likes to suck the juices out of it and leave them all looking white and weird looking. And they solve mysteries and they think the bunny is the one that's doing all the problems. Holiday Inn, that's one of them. So it's Benicula and Holiday Inn, the celery stalks at midnight and... I don't know. There's many of them, but these are the best books ever. And it's written by the perspective of the dog. So if you ever get a chance to read these books, please do. It doesn't have to be around Halloween. I need to add these to my channel because they are the absolute best. I love these books and I'm so glad I got this. Yay. All right. Let's look at number two. Number two is got a bookmark. Still not one of the ones we need. And, ah, Colleen Hoover. You know, this is really starting to make me not like Colleen Hoover. And I've never even read her. I don't even want to give her a chance now. And I doubt that the first book I read will ever be It Starts With Us. All right, number three is, oh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now I have read this book. And I also read the sequel. It's called uh, Charlie and the Glass Elevator. Because at the very end of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, um, they get into the glass elevator and they go out the top of the chocolate factory. And then the next book just kind of continues on their adventures from there. And it's very cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love all the books that they've made. I haven't seen the newest one, but I will one day because I love the story of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And our last book is... Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Love it, love it, love it. Another book that I read when I was younger that I absolutely loved. Oh, it's got pictures. Uh, I read Alice in Wonderland and I read Through the Looking Glass, which is like the sequel to Alice in Wonderland. Most of the time they come together in the same book. They'll put together in one book. But uh, yeah, we got three new books and they're like three of my favorite books. So I'm super pleased with number nine, even if we did get a Colleen Hoover. All right, Mini Brands Books Mystery Ball number 10. Here we go. See if we can get this to pull. Oh, that one pulled pretty good. Let's see if we can get this to pull here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's try this end. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. <gasps> okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Come on, mystery ball number 10. Give us some good books. I really, really, really want the clueless book. I really, really do. Now that I know it exists, I have to have it. All right. So we have four bags. No more shelves. Love it because we have enough shelves right now. All right. Mystery pouch number one. This is another burn book. It's just like another little notebook you can write in and then you're supposed to burn it when you're done. That's something I can use then for little notebooks or something. That would be cute. All right. Oh, we got a bookmark, but it's one we don't need. We need the blue and purple bookmarks. And we got Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which we just got in our last mystery ball. Great book, hardback. But I don't need another one. All right, let's look at number three. Number three is Raw Doll and the Twits. Another great book that I already have two copies of, I think. Yeah, we have three. Whole ball is going to be a waste if you are not something good. Come on, package number four. Don't be a double. Don't be a double. <gasps> and you're a double. Oh my goodness. That whole ball was a double of everything. It was a complete and total waste. 
Ball number 10. You're a loser. All right, mini brands, mystery ball number 11. If this gives us at least one new, it'll be better than the other one. So let's see. Come on. Well, we got a satisfying pull. There's that. And then we have, can we get a satisfying pull here? Ooh, two very easy satisfying pulls. You're giving me hope, ball number 11. All right, what I really, 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 really want is the Clueless book. I have only three balls left. So please, ball number 11. Oh no, this looks like shelving. We have enough shelves. The shelves are so cool, but yes, we have enough shelves. We need books to put on those shelves. So we only get three bags of books this time. Pitch number one. Give me something good. You are, no! I have one, two, three, four, five, six copies of this book. I don't want any more of this book. Stop giving me this book. I don't want it. Sorry if I hurt your eardrums. I'm starting to get disappointed as I see my supply dwindling and I realize there's so many books I don't have and so many that I want. Well, when it's got this with it, that means we've got a, mag a magnifying glass, which is cool. We only have one other one of those and they're actually very cute and you can use them to read the books because they do actually have teeny tiny writing in them. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yes, awesome book. Love it. Love the movies. Love the books. Hey, you're our last hope, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Package number four. Three, four, whatever. It's Goosebumps. But it is a Goosebumps that we don't have. It is a Goosebumps that we don't have. So ball number 11 is not a total loser. It is still better than ball number 10. All right. Time for Mini Brands Books, ball number 12. I only have two of these left. All right, satisfying pull. Yes, okay. Satisfying pull. <gasps> yes. Okay. Please, please, I want to clue this book. It is my favorite of all time. I do not want Colleen Hoover. <sighs> oh no, I should have said I don't want any more shelves. I got more shelves. The shelves are cool, but I have five shelves and I don't have enough books to fill them up. I need more books to fill up the shelves. So let's read the packaging. <sighs> Package number one. <laughs> Colleen Hoover. We got two more chances. It's Goosebumps. Do I have this particular Goosebumps? Yes. Yes, I do. Can you tell I'm starting to get sad? It's our last chance. Our last chance for this ball. It's hardback. It's a Christmas carol. Ball number 12, you disappoint me. Okay, we have many brands books, ball number 13. Now some people think 13 is an unlucky number. For me, it's always been a lucky number. I got married on the 13th. My mom's birthday is on the 13th. My mom and dad got married on the 13th. 13th is a good number for me. So please, please, Mini Brands books, make the 13th Mini Brand Mystery Ball be good to me. I want a clueless book. I don't want any shelves. And I don't want any Colleen Hoover. <sighs> is that so much to ask? Is it really so much to ask? I'm writhing in disappointment right now. Yes, we got a satisfying tool, but 
So far, that means nothing. Ball 13, you're my only hope. Okay. Well, one good sign, there are no shelves. So, that's one good thing. All right, package number one. We get, it's different. <gasps> it's Holiday it's the sequel to Benicula. Remember how I said I loved Benicula and I was thinking of all the books that are the sequel to it. And I said it's Benicula and Halliday Inn and the celery stalks have been dined. It was written by this dog. I think that's the dog and that's the cat. And Oh my gosh, I didn't even know they had that one. Okay, ball number 13, I love you now. I will forgive you, ball number 13, you gave me Halliday Inn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Package number two. Please, 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 it's a bird. Package number three. Stranger Things. But as much as I love Stranger Things, I have this book. All right. You, package number four, are my only hope. Now I see that there's a bookmark in there, and it sort of looks blue, which I don't have the blue bookmark. Or it could be purple. I don't have the purple bookmark either. Either one of those would be lovely. So if I could get Holiday Inn and one of the blue or purple bookmarks, I mean, that's a plus. But I really want the clueless. And the book looks yellow, and I don't think the clueless book is yellow. Let's see. Let's see. It's hardback. It's, it is the blue bookmark. Okay, so I just need the purple one now. And it is a diary of a wimpy kid. And it is one that I do not have. So, you know, book number 13 did not disappoint. It didn't. I'm, 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 I'm okay with ball number 13. I am. It, it, it tried. It tried, but I still need my clueless book. So I will somehow have to acquire some more of these balls. But I need my clueless. So um, if there's anybody out there that would like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six Colleen Hoover books and trade me for a clueless book, or, you know, I'll even throw in a couple burn books and a Christmas Carol and some. Stranger Things books and a road doll and, uh, you know, whatever you want. You're going to have whatever you want. I just want my glueless book. But I, overall, I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy. I got Benicula and Holiday Inn. I didn't even know they made Holiday Inn in this. I didn't read the list very carefully. I have all the bookmarks except for the purple one. Um, I got shelves, which I'm going to put together, and then I will put in my backdrop. I got the magnifying glasses. I mean, overall, I think I did really, really well, but I didn't get the one that I truly, truly wanted. I wasn't even wanting one of the rare ones. And if anybody has any ideas how to get the clueless book, comment on this video. Thanks, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Dum 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 d